Yo, what's up everybody? It's Brilly, and today what I'm going to show you is how we can jump into Kitbash assets and replace missing textures. Now, this has been kind of a headache for a lot of users for quite some time, where it says all the textures are missing and it's darn near impossible to kind of relink them up. I'm going to show you a couple quick and easy steps to how to do that. So first, let's just hop into our project asset inspector and you're going to see that all my textures are in here and none of them are missing. And that is because as long as you have your folder with the texture library in there, they're going to be linked up correctly. However, the minute we were to take something out from here and put it into a new file, let's say, you know, it's like we want one of these buildings. I'll just select a random one and we'll place this into a new folder here, right? And let's zoom into that. And if we go into our project asset inspector again, so let's open that up, Project Asset Inspector. And you can see all the materials are missing. Now, the first thing everyone wants to do, right, is just simply relink these. And so if you right click on them and you say, hey, you know what? Um, I can relink these assets and we navigate to that same folder that we are just at and link them up, they will still be missing. So let's go ahead and talk about how we can, you know, solve this issue. So let's first save our project. So I'll say file, save as, and I will save these really quickly. And I'll just call this our kit bash test. And in this folder, I'll save this as like building one, whatever. It doesn't really matter, right? <clears throat> now what we need to do is we need to put that texture folder in we need to copy it and place it inside this folder as well. So I'll come back to the original download folder. I'll right click this, I'll say copy, and I'm gonna paste it into my folder location. Okay, so now we're in that new folder that we just created together. I can paste that in here. Now, if you wanted to, you know, get the specific textures or whatnot, uh, you could put them in there. It is also important to kind of take note that since this um, Kitbash has updated all of this system. So you shouldn't have this problem with Octane and Kitbash assets in the future. However, if you're dealing with older downloaded assets, you'll still definitely run into this issue. So let's hop back inside of Cinema 4D <clears throat> because the next thing we need to do is open back up that project asset inspector. And we would have right click. You couldn't just say reload, right? You couldn't reload the textures. Um, and relinking, right? Let's relink the assets. You might think that would work. Here's our kit bash test. Perfect. Here is our library. We say select folder and you'll see it does it just for that one. However, it's not actually doing anything, right? If we, uh, reload relink, you'll see that they're all still going to be missing. And when I close out of here and we open it back up. Uh, you'll see that it, it shows that it's there, but look, the file path isn't correct. And so what we actually have to do is if you right click this and uh, actually we should select all of our assets in here. So control A, right click it, and we're gonna say globalize file names. And when you do this, this will set up the correct path now. Now you can see that it goes into that shot and kit bash test folder. And now all the assets will in fact link up. So let's launch our Octane Live Viewer just to make sure it all worked. And just like that, they all relink up. So just a quick rehash here. What you need to make sure that you do is wherever you're saving your actual shots, the texture folder needs to be in there. Once you do that, you can open your project asset inspector up. You'd right click and you want to relink the assets and just make sure that you're going to your texture folder that's located where your scene files are. Once you finish that, you want to right click and say globalize file names. And then just like that, you've got your assets and you can pick them and move them around different scenes and all the materials will relink up automatically for you.